G'day folks, Corey Hind here. I hope you're well. Now, obviously our business is all about Google ranking higher. There are Google business listings, there are websites, there are Google ads. We do most of the first two, so normal websites and Google business listings. We still get loads of questions about Google business profiles, which are the map pack listings. And sometimes it's easy just to send you to something like this, which is a checklist we published it's just on our Substack list, but I thought I'd talk you through it so that it's here on YouTube as well, um, because people often reach out to us and we find ourselves going over the same basic things. This checklist of nine doesn't guarantee you anything. It just means that you kind of set up well enough to potentially rank well, given that you keep doing the other work required, like getting reviews, doing updates checking yourself against competitors, all that sort of stuff. So let's work through the nine. Hopefully this is helpful to you. We've got loads of free stuff. Okay, you can ask us questions in our Facebook group. You can ask us questions here. We've got loads of free stuff to help you here. Or if you want help or us to do it for you, you can reach out as well. So first thing to do, and surprisingly this does happen, is make sure you own your listing. So sometimes Google has created a listing for you or the previous owners created it or it's popped up somehow and you don't actually have ownership of that listing. So make sure that you've got it on your own ownership. The way to do that is to go to business.google.com on the usual Gmail you have, and make sure that your listing appears there and you can access the dashboard and, and play around with it. Or access Google Maps on your phone, search for your business, and you'll see it there. If not, you have to claim ownership. We can help you do that if that's a problem. Okay, the next one is just go through the information section on the profile. You'll see a, a edit profile button. Click that and just check all the basics are correct. Your name, your address, your phone number, your website URL. Just have a good look over it and make sure there's no errors. There's one thing I've learned about Google is they don't like errors or confusion. So if something's wrong, like the wrong phone number or URL, anything really, if it's wrong, Google will normally put you in the confusion category and you'll you'll suffer with worse rankings than what you probably deserve. So just go through all of the sections you can see, make sure it's all accurate. Then go into your service descriptions. You'll see a button that says edit services. Click on there and describe what your services are. Check which services are there as well. Sometimes there might be services you need to add or even delete. Google does add services automatically. And that's sometimes useful, sometimes not. So go in there, check for accuracy, make sure you've described your services, but make sure also that they are services you actually provide. Next thing is reply to reviews. Now, Google likes completion of its things. So Google likes it to use its things fully. So part of that is reviews. Of course, make sure you get reviews. That's useful, not only to rank you higher, but also conversion rate optimization, which means once somebody finds your listing, they're going to look through it, they're going to look for reviews, they want to make sure that you've been replying to reviews, they'll they'll learn to trust your business by reading the reviews that are there, and also your replies to the reviews, even the bad ones. So somebody might have a complaint, how did you address that as a business? That's a very telling factor in how you run the business and how much trust there will be, so make sure you reply to your reviews. The next one is your review average over 4.0. Myself personally, if I'm looking at various businesses for a thing, somebody's got a review average of 3.8, somebody's got 4.2, decision made. I'm going to go with a higher one. If your review average is really poor, maybe you need to improve your business, I don't know. Maybe there's things that are working against you, like you're in the type of business where people like to whinge and complain but not necessarily leave good feedback. Either way, you have to go and get more good reviews. So we've got articles and resources but which will help you with that as well. So go and get more good reviews reviews. The next thing is we notice that reviews that rank well have at least five lots of five star Google reviews. So again, this point goes with this point. You need to play the review game, not only to help your review, uh, your listing rank higher, but to convert the people who see you into customers, which is obviously the whole point of this exercise, right? So get out there, get reviews. Photos are the next thing you need to check that you have. So when we take on a Google business profile as a, as a client engagement, we will go through their website, their Facebook page, whatever they've got online, and aggregate those photos and get them onto Google business profile as well. Google likes this, okay? People like that as well. People 
like to look around your listing, see what's there, see what the business is all about. So photos tell that story. So get them on there. Um, you know, you might decide to whip around with the phone around the business, take some photos, upload them straight from the app, the Maps app on your phone to the listing. Or you might decide to get your team out on the road, whatever business that might be, to start taking more photos. Either way, photos are really good. Okay, make sure you've got photos on your Google Business Profile. The next point is linking from your website to your Google Business Profile. So ideally, your Google Business Profile will link to your website, and then somewhere on your website, you'll link back to your Google Business Profile. Usually these days, an embedded map at the bottom of the About Us or Contact Us page is the idea. You'll see that listed there. And the last one is uh, posts and updates at least weekly. Now, this is a debatable point. There are people who claim that this is no longer a thing. However, I like to think that it's just another way showing Google that you're actively using their thing. And generally speaking, when you're actively using Google's thing, they reward you with the uh, things that you want, which is higher rankings. Okay, so I still recommend people do updates or posts. The other thing in there is offers. If you put an offer in there, a special offer, that'll sit right at the top of your listing when people see it on mobile. So that's another thing to consider. So work through this list. This kind of makes sure that you're doing the basics correctly and you stand a bit of a chance at ranking high for your thing in your area, which is what Google Business Profile is all about. Ranking high for your thing in your local area. If you need to talk more broadly about the website that you have for your business as well, then there are other resources and tools we have. Check below in the comments. All right, guys, hopefully that was useful. Any questions, pop them below. We'll talk soon. 